Okay, today I'm going to learn you how to make a time zone changer using PHP. So let's start um, just to start with a normal HTML page. I'm going to set the title as uh, what time zones. And uh, now I have a list of the time zones in the world, so I'm going just to paste it. I'm going to include this in the post. Now we have to make a letter div. I have to make it, you know, like a, I want to. I, I want to use Ajax to return a value, so I'm give it an ID as a load. Close it, and let's make a little button right here. Say input type submit and uh, ID equals to sub and uh, value equals to change time. Let's just close this and take a couple of break lines before this button. Save this as timer.html. Save it. Let's start with a new page. PHP page. Clear this. Let's just... Um, now I'm going to use objects to make this. So I'm going to start with a new class and uh, call it timer. Uh huh. Let's just uh, this make a private uh, variable called it full time time. Now let's start a new method. And it means function in the normal PHP and uh, call it timer. And it's required a variable called def. Now this diff is going to equals to the value that we want to, or the time zone that it will you want to set to. So now we need to set the um, time zone to the default time zone to GMT. So we're going to use uh, a function called date uh, time date date what the default default Time zone set to GMT, and let's get the server hour in a twenty-four hours format. So get server equals to date capital H. Close it. Let's uh, now see if. The time zone that we want to change is uh, less than one or more than, you know, we have a minus sign and a plus sign in the list. Let's so check it out. You know, like here we have a minus and here we have a plus. We want to know what one of them that we have, so we have to break match it. So match equals to break match the we want just to find the the minus and let's say at the what at the def and the array is going to be matches matches match let's just call it match and that's it now let's just remove the or no, not remove and let's just say F. Not like that. If we have the signs, so if actually the break match returning a value, so if match zero because it's array and we want the first value equals equals to minus, make the following action. And it's going to be um what just uh, re replace the minus with nothing so re uh, break break replace the minus just do hashes and minus and uh, uh what we want to replace is match not yeah match we want to replace, replace it for match. Oh, sh 
we want to replace it to nothing then we want to replace it to from matches or match only now this is going to be fixed time now to get the time user time equals to this uh, equals to the get server minus the fixed time fixed time else what if we don't have this minus easily uh, it's going to be uh, get fix all 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 this shit is the same just it's going to be a plus and this is going to be a plus now full time equals to user user time dot date colon i colon s that we are getting the minutes and the seconds and uh, that's it now we are going to say this we called it they call the private verbal is full time equals to uh, full time the normal one and return this full time we are going to call this timer class PHP we save it let's make a new PHP page clear it and let's just start the PHP we are going to include once the uh, time request to PHP and uh, let's just start a new object so I'm going to say time equals new timer and uh, and what let's say uh, yeah echo time to timer that's it let's save this as action PHP now let's start making a little bit of a check so script type uh, text javascript source equals http static dot dot com what happens slash gs slash jquery query dot gs close it and close this is script start the script again and close it now this is really basic script so document document dot ready make a function close the practice then close this practice and easily we will say if you clicked on the button click the on the button click the button we're going to make a function into this function we will have a variable that we will call it to var data equals to you know this is the drop down equal id is drop down time zone so the drop down time zone dot val means value and now we have this uh, dev that we call load we will say this dev or load dot load close this dot load it called uh, the file we want to load is action the php and uh, time equals to what to yeah close it and we will say plus date 